All right, for numbers 7 through 14 on part 4, we are going to be actually sketching derivative functions. So I'll do 6 on this page and 2 on the next, and I'll try to go slowly, um, yet not too slowly. So here we have a constant function, and that means the slope of this function is 0. So that means the derivative is right here on the x-axis, that is our f prime function. Number 8, we have a linear function, and the slope of this function looks to be, uh, let's see, a rise of 3 and a run of 2, but it's negative, so negative 3 halves. That means that if this is 3, we need to come down to approximately negative 3 halves and draw a constant slope of negative 3 halves. That will be our f prime. Number 9 starts to get a little trickier. First thing I want to do is figure out where my function has horizontal tangent lines, and I see three of them. So the derivative is going to have three zeros here, here, and here. And the next thing I want to do, I'm actually going to mark those three spots with x's because you know I like to break up my function by intervals of increasing, decreasing, and also intervals of concavity. So the function is concave down up until about here, and then up until maybe here, and then down throughout. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, I think, uh, sections that I need to sketch. So first section, I have an increasing concave down function. Increasing means the first derivative is positive. Concave down means the first derivative is decreasing. So I come into here. Next section, the function is decreasing and concave down. So the derivative is negative and decreasing till about here. Next section, derivative is still negative because the function is still decreasing, but now the function is concave up, so the derivative is increasing, so I come up to this x-intercept. Next section, function is increasing, so the derivative is positive, function is concave up, so the derivative increases. Next section, function is still increasing, so the derivative is still positive, but now the function's concave down, so the derivative needs to be decreasing, and I need to decrease to that x-intercept here. Then last, the function is decreasing and concave down, so both the first and second derivative are negative, so that means the derivative is negative and decreasing. And you'll notice that everywhere where I had an inflection point on my function, I have a turning point on my derivative. Next. This graph is everywhere decreasing and everywhere concave down. I look like I start with a slope of about zero and I go to a slope very, very negative. So I'm going to start with a slope of about zero and I need to have a negative f prime because my function is decreasing and I need to have a decreasing f prime because my function's concave down. Number 11, this is an upside down absolute value function. I don't know the scale here, but all I know is that this graph will have, that has a positive slope here and a negative slope here, and the derivative will have a jump discontinuity here. So I have a positive slope up to here, and then negative slope from there on. Next, I have one, two, three spots where it looks like my derivative will be zero because I have a horizontal tangent line. So I'll go ahead and graph those in. Now let me mark the places on my graph where we have either a horizontal tangent line, or a change in concavity. I go from down to up maybe about here, and from up to down maybe about here. So section by section I need to go. This graph is decreasing, so the derivative is negative. Concave down, so the derivative decreases. Here to here, my function is decreasing, so the derivative is still negative, but now the function is concave up, so the derivative increases. So it looks like I need to go about here. Notice I have a turning point on my derivative where my function had an inflection point. For the next section, the derivative has to be positive because the function increases, and the function's concave up, so the derivative must be increasing. From here to here, function is increasing, so the derivative is still positive, but now the function is concave down, so the derivative has a turning point and decreases down to that x-intercept.